I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I wanted to catch her. Find out what was going on. Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door. Closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Hey! Mona! You! Something was barring the door from the other side. They jammed the elevator. Oh no, you won't! Get out! Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. Okay, let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums. This used to be a nice neighborhood. He was trespassing. You saw it. Used to be a time when you didn't have to lock your door. Lock the door. Don't open it for anyone but the police. This is a surprise, finding you here. What, are you looking for me by chance? My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I am here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! No, no, put it back on, they'll hear, they're spying on me, they're listening and spying, but all of us, they'll, they'll hear if the TV's not on, the signal, the signal, the fools and yes, my kind heart, no, my lady, turn it back on. Payback time. The order now called by Kaufman wants is taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go home. You know what this is? The finale. The climax before the credits roll. I heard a noise. A noise woke me up. Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. 
such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Keeping time. Oh, I remember some of the days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple, not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. It's not the same thing. I'm telling you. I understand what she did, but I don't condone it. The same thing. It's the same thing. It's not. I get what she did and why she did it, but that doesn't mean I think it's okay. You get it means you condone it. I understand you're an idiot. I don't condone it. There he is! the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. Ah! 
They crazy. Now they want to clean me out. Thanks, fella. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. But with the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows it. You know Ed the janitor. Poor oh, Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. You can always tell the difference between a pigeon and a dove from the drop-ins. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, fair and bleak. Mm -hmm. Talking to me? Return to Sender Marathon. Two days and two nights of the 90s cult series, Address Unknown. All the episodes in a row. A real descent to madness. I was lost in the streets of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girlfriend. I was part of some elaborate game, complex for its own sake. <laughs> Every time I looked over my shoulder, I saw a shadow disappearing behind the corner with a glint of binoculars in a window. They were spying on me, following my every move. When Mira killed again, the map of the city changed. Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation, I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me. And he was watching me do it. That's odd.
The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher.